Hi there, my name is Shane Kilgarren from the bar manager at Mr. Cooper's House and Garden. Today we're making some cocktails with Cads, the Reef Salt, and uh, the wine we're going to go with this time is the Ombre in 1997, which is 100% white Grenache, and it's been aged in uh, oak vats for about 15 years. So it's got a kind of nice, uh, pungent, sort of oxidized, spicy flavor to it, and we're going to hopefully draw out some of those different flavors with this drink. So uh, the drink we're going to go for is called uh, La Dontelière, which is uh, like a lace maker in French and it should hopefully reflect this sort of uh, weaving flavours of the drink. It's very complex, it's quite boozy, but it's, uh, it helps the wine to shine. So we're going to start with 50 uh, mils of uh, the ombre. Then 30 mils of rye whiskey. So uh, it's a particularly spicy kind of American whiskey. Lots of kind of sharp, wintry flavours in there. 30 mils of that. Then next up, uh, a French classic, absinthe. You can't go wrong with that, as long as you don't use too much. Five mils of that. So we don't want to overpower the wine, we just want to kind of add a floral overtone to the drink. So that's five mils. Then uh, freshly pressed uh, orange juice, kind of just to pair down that, that booziness, because it really is quite boozy. So we're just going to go for about 15 mils. Make it a bit more palatable, a little less kind of aggressive. And we're gonna lightly shake it just to kind of wake it up. It's been in bottle for a long time, so we want to kind of reactivate some of those flavors. There we are. Um, yes, so a chilled cocktail glass. We're going to strain it in there. Nice, beautiful colour reflecting the wine itself. Accenting all of those kind of nutty, oldy flavours that the wine is so good with. And then just an edible flower, La Dontelière Santé.